Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you generate the suggested questions similar to Bing chat using OpenAI. So let me quickly show you what I mean by this. So I'm on Bing chat and let's say if I'm writing a question here, can you suggest me a few famous places in Paris? So let's have a look at the response. So I'm just giving, can you suggest me few famous places in Paris? So here it starts searching and it is going to list few places for us. So let's give it few seconds and okay, it's going to bring a lot more. Okay, we are done. So here you can see that this is the description it is giving about what all famous places are there but at the end it is also talking about few of the questions how can you enhance your search by question, asking the questions since this fashion so what is the best time to visit paris or how do i get around in paris so these are the relevant questions which you may or you would like to ask so today's video i'm going to show you how can you generate the questions based on the given context and in a very efficient way now, when it comes to generating the questions, it's not a big deal. It's just a matter of pushing the few lines of text in the prompt and it will generate the question. But problem appears how to parse the response. How will you get to know whether this is your response or this is the questions? So that's what we are going to discuss today. So let me quickly jump on to my VS code. And I have taken one text file which is having this few lines of text and before that I have imported uh, OpenAI and I have set my OpenAI key here. So let it execute. Okay. And here I am reading my text file and let me quickly show you what this file contains. So this is the text from my text file. So it is just a plain simple English text. Okay. Now in order to generate the response, uh, we need to like organize the response how we can extract the response so for that i am using instructor and pydentic so these are the two apis or the two libraries which i have discussed in my one of my previous videos so if you're not sure i would recommend you to go and check one uh, check those ones first so let me import these two libraries instructor and pydentic so pydentic is having a, a base base model which is going to help us in generating the response and here i am generating the client in the first line by passing the open ai so as i said we will be using open ai so that's the reason i'm passing in open ai here and then i'm framing a construct for my class so whenever open ai gives me response i want it in this form answer and the question so i don't want those two clubbed up and then uh, parsing needs to be done on my end so that's what that's not what i want i want these two things to be separated by the model itself so let's execute this line and then I'm calling my GPT-35 Turbo and here inside this, you, this is the most important thing. So you need to provide what kind of response object is this. So in my case, I just need this one. But if you have any nested objects or class within class, then also you can provide that here. And as we are using 3.5 Turbo, we need to mention the role and the content. So role is user and the content, if you will look at this, I'm asking what is this data all about? Can you also rephrase the question and generate top two questions from the given context? And here is my input text. So let's execute this cell as well. Okay, and now if I will go and show you what this data contains, here you can see the response. So the data is about homelessness, which refers to the state of being unhoused or unsheltered. And at the end, uh, let me drag it a bit. So here you can see the questions. So the first one is this, which is saying, what is the main release, uh, main cause of rising homelessness in the United States? And the second question is in the similar line. Okay, now what I mean to say, let's say if you are not using this response object or your own class to parse this logic, then in that case, you will get this entire thing as a single output you will not be able to see where the question is and where the answer is and in that case it would be your headache to parse it properly because we are not sure whether openai is going to give two dot every time or it is giving some space here so 
you should have a better technique to parse it and not sure whether that would be full fledged. And that's the reason we are asking Pydentic to do that job for us. Now, if I will go here and say data dot answer, it will give me only the answers. It will not going, it is not going to execute or include my questions. And if I want to know only the questions, I would simply say, get me the questions. So data dot questions, and it will just give you the questions. So in that case, you can easily extract the data. So maybe you can take this as your terminator or any other symbol you like. So in my case, I would definitely prefer the question mark. So whenever question mark is coming, I'm assuming that my first question is ending over here. So this is how you can generate the questions out of the given context as well as you can parse it so that is the overall motive of this video i hope you enjoyed passing the text and do let me know in comments how do you feel about it thanks for watching